Two boxes. <laughs> you can come.
Alexander Graham, Alexander Bell is very famous for a lot of inventions. That's why I chose him. Does anyone have any questions? Travis, do you have any brothers or sisters? Um, I'm not quite sure about that. Roger? Um, I read in a book that he had a, um, art in his work for you. Yeah, I think that was um, his father named Alexander Melville. Okay, um, Michael? Um, why did he come to America? So he could, um, I think, because he, so he could do more research. Matt? His helper was named Watson. Well, where did he get the idea to invent the telephone? I think when he was a child and he had the idea for a canopy. Um, mm -hmm. Gary? Well, why does, why does he want to send messages when, when, all, he had, when all he can do is just write it down and send it? Well, he can do it quicker because mail takes a long time to get there. Yeah. Any more questions? In 1847, Alexander Bell was born. In 1869, he invented the telephone. In 1870, he moved to Ontario, Canada. In 1880, he won 50,000 francs for the telephone. In 1882, he became a U.S. citizen. In 1922, he died. Okay. Um, Michael, we thank you for an excellent presentation, and we know that uh, we can tell you did a lot of research because you're excellent facts. Uh, one thing that I think Erin, uh, she may have even mentioned it in her report, and I'm not sure, uh, is there any connection between Helen Keller and Alexander Graham Bell? Okay, and what was that uh, connection? Did her father encourage, uh, he went to visit Alexander Graham Bell? Okay. Helen Keller's father went to visit Alexander Graham Bell because, as Michael said, Michael, what was one of the areas that Alexander Graham Bell was very interested in because of his father's uh, profession? I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, you told us about it. What, what type of people was he trying to help that he liked to work with? I'm not sure. I think America. Okay, now think about what what loss had people had that Alexander Graham Bell was <gasps> was trying to help. Oh, oh, messages. Okay, and they could oh. not what? What was the people couldn't do what? <coughs> but his father worked with people that in speech, correct? And also, what interest did Alex, Alexander Graham Bell uh, work with his father? There were people, could everybody hear? With deaf mutes. That's right, with deaf mutes, okay. So this interest from his father was an interest that he developed, and that's one reason why Mr. Keller, Helen's father, went to Alexander Graham Bell when he found out his daughter was, uh, was totally deaf, along with being blind. He wanted to find every way possible uh, to help her. Well, Michael, uh, I thank you for presenting to us uh, definitely a person with an inquisitive mind. Uh, do we think, do you think Alexander Graham Bell was satisfied with just one thing that he invented and then he just, mm -hmm. why not Michael? Because um, he invented so many things. All right, he kept on. Uh, you'll notice that inventors definitely tend to be questioning people. And they always are wondering. Michael, we want to give you a nice round of applause for the excellent. <laughs> and I'm going to ask everybody to remain in their seats. Okay, do you have your tails? Oh, okay. Let me see, Michael. You look good. You're so good. You're good, Michael. After you have boys and girls to listen, please. After you have your tail, your bow, and your face, get a book, please, and sit down quietly and read.
Original and beautiful voice. Hit it. Jesus, Jesus, I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones and in the mouth. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. <laughs> forget no, it, forget it. Could I sing something else? Could I sing something else? Uh huh. Okay. What are you but gonna don't sing? sing it in, um, don't sing it in um. New kids. No, don't sing the new kids. I no. can if I want to, okay? No, no, don't sing no. the new kids. <laughs> just, just the two normal songs. Sing in your beautiful voice. Anything you want. Jesus. <laughs> Mom, cut it off, cut it off. This is Leslie, who's going to sing um, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star in her most best and beautiful voice. Would you stop Hit it, Leslie? dude. Twinkle, little star, high farting. She doesn't know the song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, O, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, and T, U, V, the T, V, W, X, X, and Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next I'm singing along with you. No, it's along with me. <laughs> Here. This is Michael. He's going to sing his most beautiful voice. And Jesus loves me like I just did. Okay, go. <coughs> Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to in me long, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Hey! My yes, Jesus loves stop. me. Yes, Jesus hey, give me that! For the Bible tells me so. Okay, I'm done. Can I do the, um, sorry. Okay, do let's watch now. it now. Come on, let's watch it. What are you looking at? <laughs> My bike, look. <laughs> you don't mind? <laughs> hey, I need parts. <laughs> I'm turning <laughs> around. Run it off. Run around. All around. Like a hound, I'll run them. Run them. Run them.
Okay. Who's next That's up? the end. That's a wrap, folks. <laughs> 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 